Hey everyone, Pushing Up Roses here, and today I just wanted to put out a quick video showcasing an upcoming adventure game called The Crimson Diamond. As of right now, there's only a demo available, but I was so happy with it, I just had to take a second to gush. Developed by Julia Minamata, The Crimson Diamond is a text parser command game in the style of an EGA Sierra game. More specifically, it looks like a love letter to the Colonel's Request. And it is! I could not be happier to have another Laura Bow-esque style murder mystery. I'm going to be completely honest with you, when I saw the trailer, I was a little skeptical on whether or not I would like it. I thought it might be too similar to The Colonel's Bequest, and I had no idea why I took on such a cynical assumption early on, but I am very happy to eat my words, because after playing the demo, I found that it had its own unique personality. You play as Nancy Maple, whose name, I assume, is a combination of Nancy Drew and Miss Marple, two of the most well-known female detectives in literature. Nancy is a budding mineralogist and is sent to the Crimson Lodge to investigate the discovery of diamonds on the land. She has some of the same exuberant mannerisms as Laura Bow, excited to do a good job but also very perceptive, friendly, and frankly, really nosy. As mentioned before, Nancy's aesthetic, as well as the setting itself, takes a lot of inspiration from Sierra's The Colonel's Bequest. The mechanics are also similar. The point of the game is to interrogate and eavesdrop. It's less reliant on puzzles than most of the titles in the Sierra catalog. Another aspect of the game is, much like The Colonel's Bequest, having a lot of shit to look at but not a lot to find. You can open cabinets and drawers forever and not find a single clue. That probably sounds like a bit of a slight, but I assure you, I would rather there be fewer but more important inventory items versus a bunch of superfluous bullshit that I carry around in my trousers the entire game and never use. I'm looking at you, King's Quest. Quit putting random crap in logs. An homage I really, really appreciate is the replicated shower scene, which is also an homage to the film Psycho. In The Colonel's Bequest, you meet a grisly death. In The Crimson Diamond, you can also meet a grisly death. However, if you simply lock the door, you're aces. This tickles me. I love it. It did, however, take me an embarrassingly long time to figure out how to turn on the shower. I have no idea how I function as an adult. That's the mystery here. I also spied this moose head, which has been a running gag and easter egg in a lot of the old Sierra games. Here's one from King's Quest 3. Doesn't he look miserable? I was quite happy to see elements from the sequel to the Colonel's Bequest, The Dagger of Amon Ra. For example, one of the ways to eavesdrop is to find a glass and hold it up against a door, similar to what you see here in Dagger. There's also a promiscuous character named Margo. A lot of her mannerisms are similar to those of Yvette. But even though it's easy to see where the inspiration came from, the characters are still their own, and I was able to see them as their own individual personalities. Since this is a demo, you can expect to find some unfinished screens, to which the dev has added some humorous quips to, but the setting itself, a cozy inn called the Crimson Lodge, looks really nice. I enjoyed going through each room and reading the descriptions, poking around for clues, and opening every closet I could find. It really does feel pleasant and rather intimate, and the cast of characters is also good so far. I didn't get to know them too well during my one hour playthrough of the demo, but I can say that I finished it up feeling really intrigued and I was engrossed with what I was doing for the majority of time I spent on it. I didn't encounter any death scenes, but I suppose that would perhaps be too much of a spoiler for a demo, so I understand not including one. I am assuming there will not be any porcupine-related homicides, but I'm very eager to find out how the dev handles the murders. Will they be fairly normal, or are they going to be ramped up to fucking 11 like the ones in Dagger? I do have some minor nitpicks, however, I know the game is still in development, so I will try to be as fair as possible. I love the design of the text boxes. The command prompt has a cute little spyglass on it, and the description texts are framed by floor lamps. There's some great detail going on here. Though I do find that the font itself is a little hard to read. It sometimes hurts my eyes just a smidge. It's definitely an appropriate font, as it really does look like the ones from Sierra Games Past, but there's something about it that makes it harder to process. It's also presently a little buggy. As I was eavesdropping on Margot and Jack, the housekeeper, her clothes kept glitching, as in they kept coming off and on. Though knowing the nature of this meeting, perhaps it wasn't a bug. Maybe they just had some weird kinks that involved quick change magic. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of the, ahem, kinks will be ironed out before release. I give major props to the developer for her beautiful design work and for bringing back that wonderful 16 color palette. I cannot wait to see how this mystery unfolds, so I will be awaiting the final product with great anticipation. The Crimson Diamond demo is currently on Steam for anyone interested in playing it, and if you love adventure games as much as I do, then I hope you give it a whirl. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my video on this upcoming game. If you want more adventure game related content, then do check out the rest of my channel. You might find something you like. If you'd like to support me more directly, as in giving me money so I can buy my bird sunflower seeds, then do consider becoming my patron. I have rewards and shit. Yeah. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one.